how do you find out people's pain buttons? We all know one thing. If today you can help other people to solve their problems, their crisis, another word, they are pain buttons. What is making them painful? Money will follow and you will inevitably make tremendous amount of money, but you gotta focusing on finding out people's pain buttons. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been in the financial service sales leaders development business for over 28 years. And one of the things that I had eventually mastered is figure it out, find out what bothers people, what frustrates people. And ultimately the bottom line of everything is that I was able to find out people's pain buttons and come up with a specific solution to resolve their pain, right? And if you really think about it, what does human being, we as human being, we worry and concern about most of the time is either financially has to deal with money or money divided into what? Divides into income, able to cover expenses, savings, investments, right? All the things that concern other people, maybe it's their health, they're overweight, they're not feeling good when they wake up in the morning. It could be lack of sleep, lack of the, the, the right nutrition, lack of working out on a consistent basis. It could be relationship to some people. They, they just don't have the right relationship with people and they feel they are a lone wolf, they're by themselves, they feel like they're kind of locked in in a room or they feel that they're isolated in an island. So their relationship is not expanding and, and, and they're not happy, right? So whatever that might be, your job as a leader, your job as an entrepreneur is by learning how to ask the right questions and figure out what can you do to help this individual or this group of people to resolve their pain. If you can do that, if you have a solution or solutions to do that, inevitably you will become extremely, extremely wealthy. And along the way, a lot of people had asked me, well, that sounds great, Jada, but how do I find out people's pain buttons so I can try to get into an industry that can apply the right solutions to their pain? And I say to this, this people, great question, right? So to find out people's pain buttons is no more than by asking the right questions. There are many, many different ways to ask questions. There's no specific one way to ask questions to find out other people's pain buttons. But I'll give you a few of them so you can duplicate it or at least have a sample where you're gonna create your own questions to find out other people's pain buttons. But here are some of the questions I learned how to ask people very firmly, with a lot of care, with a lot of love, and with the intention to listen more than I'm trying to talk to get them to buy something. All right, that, that's important. Because if your heart is coming from an angle of truly want to help people, you would want to listen more than you talk, all right? Don't, don't, don't try to sell anything. Don't, don't try to teach anything. Find out what is causing them of not sleep well in the evening. Find out what causing them not being happy. And if you can come up again with the right solution, people want to listen to you. And ultimately, if you have the right products, they would automatically want to buy from you, right? So the first question I like to ask people is, what do you wish to be different or improve on your daily or working life? Pretty simple, but it's a powerful question. It's a question that you get people to talk about themselves, whether it's relationship, finance, fitness, spiritually, whatever that might be. Once you ask this question, I want you to shut up and listen and look at that person's eyes with total empathy. And people will start to tell you stuff, right? The second question you can ask is, can you tell me more about what is causing you the most stress lately. Once you ask this question, be quiet, just listen. It's very powerful. And if you can just simply remember these questions in your heart and you say it out loud with the most caring 
tonality and empathize people's situation, people is gonna start to tell you everything about themselves. But you have to come from an angle of not so much about, I'm trying to get something out of you right now. People feel it, your tonality, the way you look at people, your body movement has to, one more time, come from a position where you actually are there to listen to their situations and you're not there to judge them or even teach them anything. Make sense? Third question you can try. What are the biggest challenges that you and your family are facing today? Again, another very simple but very powerful question. And you can find out people's pain buttons. They're gonna to start to tell you about their family. Oh, you know what? Uh, I am just not having a great relationship with my uh, kids right now. My, my kids are going through a lot, a lot of uh, uh, challenges in school, uh, you know, or, you know, my kids are a lot like, you know, hang around with the wrong group of people and, and they start to tell you everything, right? And your job is to find out what kind of solution is out there that can resolve their pain. And sometimes they tell you about what? Their financial situation, right? I just lost my job. You know, I can't pay my rent on time. Or they can tell you my income is too low. You know, I'm making $4,000, but I'm living in Seattle. You know, my expenses every single month is $6,000. I'm negative $2,000 and I need to make more money. So again, your job is to listen and find out exactly what are their pain buttons. And then you just simply match different solutions from different industry to help these people. And hopefully, you are in an industry where you have those right specific solution to help them on one of the pain or few of the painful uh, stuff that they're going through. Another question you can ask is, are there any specific obstacles that is hindering your progress and your growth in your business and in your life? Not an amazing, powerful question that you can get so much information if you ask it at the right moment and after that you just simply listen and the last one i always use is that if there is a solution or solutions to help you to resolve some of this pains you're going through would you be open-minded to learn about it it's more of a closing question to ask him do you want more help that's basically what it boils down to so it doesn't matter what industry what business you are in okay write down five to maybe ten questions that will help you to find out more information from the prospect that you're dealing with. And don't try to get them to just give you superficial surface answer, right? Try to get them talk about some deep stuff that they might not want to share with the rest of the people. And the only way you can do that is by learning how to ask simple but yet powerful questions as I just shared with you. I would love to hear some of your samples. How do you ask the right questions and get people to tell you their pain, their experience, their pleasure moments, and giving you information where you can come out and truly, truly provide the best solutions to help other people. So if you have any of the feedbacks and suggestions or comment about today's video, I would love to hear from you, please post a comment below. JW here, see you soon. JW here, if you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.